Now to some new details on the missing mother of five, Jennifer Dulos. Could Fotis Dulos's girlfriend be cleared of foul play in Jennifer's disappearance? At least one lawyer close to the investigation says it's shaping up to look that way. Yeah, Norm Pattis, Fotis's attorney, says both Michelle and Fotis have alibis on the day Jennifer went missing. Fotis Dulos and his girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, are both out on bond. Both have pleaded not guilty to tampering with evidence and hindering the police investigation into the disappearance of Jennifer Dulos, Fotis's estranged wife. Tonight, as we hear from Fotis's attorney, Norm Pattis, he believes state police have ruled her out of committing foul play in New Canaan. Listen to him explain why on the Chaz and AJ show on 99.1 WPLR. I think what she did agree to do is speak to the police, um, and my understanding is the result of her speaking to the police um, has ruled her out um, as a participant um, in, in any fall play in New Canaan. So she is, and, and I'm, I'm my understanding is she's taken a polygraph exam on the question of whether um, um, she had any knowledge of any fall play or, dis, or, or disposal of evidence, and she satisfied police in that polygraph exam, and she provided an alibi. Pattis says Fotis also has an alibi. He says Fotis was home, took a call from Greece, then had a meeting in the afternoon. However, later in the overnight hours, Fotis and Traconis appeared to be caught on surveillance, making 30 stops, dumping garbage bags in the north end of Hartford. My understanding is there were two potential bags, not 30. There may have been 30 stops by the car that he and she were believed to be in. It's my understanding as well, however, um, that she satisfied a polygraph exam saying she did not know what was in any of those bags. Police say the bags contain bloody clothes and a sponge matching Jennifer's blood. That's why police have been sifting through mountains of garbage here at the trash to energy plant. Pattis did acknowledge today foul play may have happened, but is adamant Fotis was not involved. While there continues to be activity at the trash facility in Hartford, there is still no sign of Jennifer, and tomorrow will mark the third week since her disappearance. You can stay up to date with any new developments at any time on the Channel 3 app.